Hey guys, welcome to lab one, assembling a computer for your uh, foundations of computing class, credit one. I just want to go over the basics of uh, how you're going to put this guy together and any um, common problems you might run into so that everything goes smoothly for you. I hope you've done the interactive on the uh, GCF Learn Free website. If you haven't, please do it. Um, go back and review this uh, earlier screencast that went over. Um, we just walked through that interactive uh, because basically all you're going to be doing with an all-in-one computer, which is what you're dealing with, is plugging stuff into the back of it. And you can see here the backs of um, a bunch of all-in-one computers. And what you've got is this little area in the back of any all-in-one computer right here, right here, right here, and we've got a close-up up of it here, and of course here. It shows you, uh, this is where you plug in all the components, and for the most part, everything is USB nowadays, so what they have is they just have a whole bunch of USB slots, and there's usually some more that you could even find on the sides of the computer if you run out of them. So all you're going to need to do is plug in your USB devices into any of these USB ports, plug in your sound right here, and then plug in your local area network cable uh, right here. And that's the thing that looks like a big phone cord. You just plug that in right here, and your power cord goes right here. Uh, now that's the only other thing that I want to touch on here. Your power cord is going to look like this for the most part. This is the part that goes into the back of the computer right there. Uh, this is uh, like a converter for the, the type, the electricity, and this is uh, the cord that plugs into the wall. Now this part disconnects from this black box here, so what can happen is this connection can become loose, and that can mean that your computer isn't getting power. So make sure that this part is uh, plugged firmly into this box here, and make sure that this part is nice and snug in the back of the computer also, because this will wiggle loose sometimes also, and then you won't get power. It's pretty easy to tell when your power cord is plugged in, but uh, uh, this part right here, the gray part that plugs into the back of the computer, and this part right here, the part that plugs into the, uh, this black converter box here, um, those are parts you need to watch out for. So really, those are the only things that might hang you up. Hopefully, it's a really easy, straightforward process for you, probably a lot easier than you thought it was. All right, guys, uh, thanks for listening, and good luck with the class.